up, YouTube? You got your boy Drew here with Andy Crew. Coming to y'all with another video. <laughs> Welcome backstage. It's been actually about six months now since I made one. Um, so I want to apologize for the delay. I appreciate all my subscribers who've been checking up on me. We're not quarantined here anymore, which means I'm actually back to my regular job working all the time. Which is a good thing, of course, but obviously that means I have a little less time to do stuff like this. But I can still find time to squeeze it in. I'm not even going to make that as an excuse. But if we're being completely honest, my last video, uh, JYP actually blocked it. I tried to uh, upload it like three different times and they blocked me every single time. So hopefully they don't block this one. I'm gonna try, we're gonna, just gonna see what happens here. I missed y'all a lot. Hopefully we can get back into the swing of things, going back on like a regular pace of making the videos because it's something I enjoy doing a lot, definitely. And I like talking to you guys as well. So with that being said, last video that I tried to upload was actually a Ta and Fam. Oh, just know that I watched both of those videos and I liked both of them a lot. Honestly, stays. I I looked and I didn't see that Stray Kids have come out with anything like recent as far as like new music videos or anything. I know last year they were killing the game, coming out back to back to back. Um, I don't know if they're getting ready for a tour or what's going on, but haven't seen anything new. So I figured that we would start making our journey through live performances. So Side Effects is one of my favorite songs by Stray Kids, so I felt like that would be a pretty good video to introduce. So that's what we're gonna go with today. Let me see here. So it is, I'm guessing it's in Korean, so I can't, I don't know where they are, but, oh, sorry, two, 2019 MDC. That's what we're going with right now. Uh, to me, the thumbnail looked a little bit cooler than the first video that popped up, so, Y'all already know how this works. I'm gonna waste a bunch of time. We have Stray Kid Side Effects Live Performance. Let's get it. Hey. So much passion already. Ooh. How did how he get down so fast? Oh, wait a minute. I don't even hold on, let me who was that even? Oh, that's bad. Who told Bane Chan to come? in upside down or like he was a it almost like they were bats or vampires and even look how felix everybody they're doing a the little what is what's happening here i see you know they love stray kids love to be looking beat up and cut up and stuff all the time but i gotta take that back just a little bit to that entrance i feel like i'm gonna like this a lot already y'all all right here we go That's so sick, and the... Oh. Okay. All right, y'all. I might be doing a lot of pausing in this one, so I apologize ahead of time. I love to hear when DJs mix and master like one song with another. 
I also like when they change the beat up or just change the background music to a song that you're already used to, especially for a live performance. I know BTS does that a lot as well, um, because for me, that's what makes it so exciting to see somebody live because you're not going to get the same thing that you can just listen to from, you know, their the actual song or from the music video as well. It's like they give you something different and I'm already getting a whole completely different vibe here with this. First of all, like I said, I love side effects. I love the background, I love everything about it. But this is giving me even more of a darker sound than the actual song. And I don't know what the ribbons are. I don't know, is that supposed to represent some type of blood, something? I'm just getting a lot of dark, vampire-ish. Ah, I don't even know what to say about this right now. But so far, I'm into it. Let's, let's finish it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Come on, you know. And Sugman always looks like nice and happy. He even looks dark. Tell him, Shane Ben. And Felix had the pink hair on my ass, too. I'm loving that switch up. Oh, right, that would be me. No, 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 no. Han's the only one that doesn't look so evil. Money of it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Hey. Uh, 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 hit it. <laughs> oh. Oh. I have a lot to say about that. Okay, one, I feel like almost with K-pop and Stray Kids, it's almost like not only are they musical geniuses, especially because they make up all their stuff, but it's like they have the production and their face and everything almost looks like they're trained to be actors too. Like a lot of times, especially over here in America, we'll have artists that they're really good singers, they're really good performers but they don't know how to like really work a camera. They're just good at what they do as far as musically. They have the whole package. What I just got from there was, like I said, they gave me this whole evil vibe. It was almost like a Broadway production on top of still their music, you know? To me, it just blows my mind how much versatility and how entertaining they are in general. Like they're so creative and they're just really good at what they do. I'm expecting that. <laughs> Honestly, I really wasn't. Like I said, that was my first live performance ever watching from them. So I, I didn't even know they were gonna switch up the song at all. So that actually just took me all the way where I need to go. And just the fact that they can be that good on being able to just switch it on like that when they get on stage. Like there's, there, we definitely have American performers who can do that, but I feel like with K-pop, they do it so easily. And I'm, obviously that has to do with, I'm sure, 
the tradition and just all the practicing and everything that they go through with being in K-pop in general, but it's mad respect here. But, so stays, y'all gotta help me out. What were the ribbons? Why are they giving me Batman, vampire type of feels? Um, I mean, obviously I know what the meaning of side effects is. I've listened to the song plenty of times and I, you know, I know exactly what they're talking about. Uh, but that seemed like it was a little bit different. So let me know. I don't know if there's a storyline to their live, live performances as well. Also put some more comments in there and let me know what else I need to be listening to, watching as well. Just besides, I hear like the award shows are like all K-pop's best performances. But that was sick. I love the switch up about it. Y'all know I'm a musician myself. So anytime where I hear good music and when somebody is such a musical genius that they can have the same song and just switch it up completely and put it in a live performance like that where it entertains us besides having to just sing the same thing, I'm all about it. I, I think personally I ha might have a little bit of ADHD. <laughs> so if the music doesn't draw me or if you don't keep my attention, I'll get bored with it very quick. And Stray Kids always know how to do that. So once again, another hitter. Stray Kids never disappoint me. Y'all already know I love them, I love my boys. I need them to come out with another video or something so I can see what else they have in store. And maybe it's because I've been slacking, that's why Stray Kids been slacking too. <laughs> but with that being said, if this is your first video, all you have to do is subscribe right there to Andy Crew, because you got Drew here and we got Beast in the background. I still got Ken, y'all, for everybody who, who my subscribers. He's still here, he's just in my room right now. We had to move to a separate tank, he's getting a little bit too big. But we got these.